Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're going to talk about celebrity brands. Are we over them? There's so many and it seems like it's getting a little overwhelming. The quality is being questioned, the authenticity is being questioned, the money grabness. And I asked you all this on Instagram and many of you agree. A lot of you are over it. So let's talk about why we don't like certain celebrity brands, why some celebrity brands are doing better than others, and if we want more, and if we do want more, what needs to change. So while I'm talking about all this stuff, I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. We're doing face and hair. I went to Sephora, I bought some things. I got the new Makeup by Mario foundation everyone's raving about. How do we feel about celebrity makeup artists? coming out with makeup. Are we mad at them too? Let me know. Then I did get, speaking of celebrity, the Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in two different colors. So we'll try those on. And something that's not new or celebrity related at all, the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Gel to Foam Styler. I got this at Sally Beauty. I saw gel to foam styler. I saw a love connection of hold and definition. All my favorite words were right on the front. And then it's sulfate paraben silicone free. So I'm gonna do a little refresh with this and try on some new makeup. Now back to the conversation. Let me pull up some of your responses on Instagram. Using my NARS primer, squeezing the life out of it again instead of just buying some more. Some of you said they are not experts and seem to be doing it for the money. I feel unsure if they are good quality or if it's just another way for them to make money. I do not like them in the hair space, not here for it. They don't formulate it themselves at all. Overpriced, overrated, and usually don't work all that well. It's too overwhelming over them. Folks starting to very much give, might as well want one too, energy. And I feel that, I feel like, you almost can't be a celebrity without a brand. It's like, yeah, you're an actress, you're a singer, cool, but what else do you make? We got JLo doing skincare, we got Rihanna doing makeup and skincare and clothing, lingerie. We got all the Kardashians having like five brands each. We have what I just reviewed for you by Tia doing hair products. Taraji B. Henson has TPH. We got Tracy Ellis Ross doing pattern. We have Alicia Keys doing skincare. And then we have like the baby side, like Shay Mitchell doing bays. We have Jessica Alba with Honest. It's a lot. Part of me isn't like too mad because why not? You have the money to do so. You have a following. People are going to buy it just because they like you, period. You're basically guaranteed sales. And that's always like the scariest part of starting a business. It's like, who's gonna care who's gonna buy it? So if you're a celebrity, you already have the who's gonna buy it because they love you and they just wanna support you, at least in the beginning. And if it doesn't work, they might stop supporting you in that way. But it's a nice guarantee. As a mom, when you got a family, especially, if you have a way to make more money, guaranteed money, might as well. But depending on the person's like integrity, you would hope that they would at least try to make something really good so that it's not just like a waste of everyone's money. You also don't wanna piss off your fans. That <laughs> never ends well. Cancel culture is very much real. So I would still be a little mindful. I think some things have more risks than others. So for example, I recently was approached by someone who asked me if I wanted to create my own hair products. Calm down, calm down. I know a lot of you have asked me to create my own hair products. I'm not calling myself a celebrity at all, but I am somebody with a following and I do think that it would probably do pretty well because of the trust that I have built for 10 years. So I think when it comes to like hair care, you guys would know that I would really make some good products versus if all of a sudden, like if I never wore my hair straight and then I came out with a straightener, <laughs> like how would you guys feel? And I kind of felt that way, like with Taraji to be honest, I never saw her rock her curly hair. It's like, we knew she had curly hair, but like we never really saw it. She's always had like a really bomb like wig or weave, which is fine but I just wouldn't expect someone like her to come out with a 
natural hairline. She did have some that were for your scalp for when you are putting on a wig or a weave. Like that was smart. But for her to be like the face of curls, I don't know. Let's try this foundation. I like the pump. It's a nice big bottle. Let's see if I got a good color. Hmm. Might. I guess that's good. I'm just, this is my pale winter shade probably. <laughs> All right, let's blend this in. Now, Tia, on the other hand, she's someone that I have seen rock her curly hair. And even still, I saw she was still getting backlash because she put out a TikTok that was talking about like, let black hair be black hair. Let black hair be black hair. This is my real hair. It's time for us to celebrate our uniqueness. And the sad part about that, which is kind of a segue to another whole bigger issue, is that the natural hair community does not like when mixed people talk about black hair. <sighs> Stepping in dangerous waters. As a mixed girl myself, I do consider myself black just as much as I am white. I'm literally, you know, half and half. Well, I mean, I got a lot of things in me, but people really try to tell me and try to tell me that I'm not black. So like some people think that if you are mixed, then you are no longer black. But I also can't go to a place of only white people and be like, yep, I'm white. And like, I'm going to get looks like, I can't. so if I can't be white and I can't be black, what am I supposed to be? So people were mad. The Tia was kind of saying, talking about like, you know, black hair and natural hair. And some people think that curly hair isn't natural hair. And they think that natural hair means like type four hair only. And if you have type three hair, even though it's the natural hair that goes out of your head, it's no longer natural. It's just, it's curly. Whole different conversation. Don't shoot the messenger. I didn't make up these silly rules, but that's just what's going on. So because of that, people don't want to try her products because they're mad that she's trying to be like the voice for black hair. But I don't, I'm not like mad at her. Like I actually believe that Tia did want to make some good products that worked for hair like hers. That's just genuinely what I believe. I don't think she just like someone texted her and was like, Oh, you want to make products? Oh, totally lost my train of thought. Okay. Back to my scenario. Someone approached me asking if I wanted to make my own hair products. And so I'm talking to him and he's like, yeah, we, we, you know, we have this factory and we can get all the ingredients that you like. So we make a lot of the hair brands that you probably use. So basically we could just take the formula and add your spin on it. And then we put your name on it. So let's say you like aloe vera or you like flaxseed or you like jojoba oil. We could take that ingredient or their recipe, if you will, add whatever ingredient you like in it and now it's your product. I was like, okay, well how long would, you know, this turnaround be? Like when are you trying to launch my brand? And he's like, yeah, so by the time we go into the lab, we create it, we get a couple samples, we probably could launch it in like two weeks. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I said, do you really think I, I mean, this is more in my head, but I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Tuned out the rest of the conversation. Meanwhile, in my head, if you think I'm gonna launch my curly hair brand in two weeks after what I experienced firsthand with like Diva Curl, now Olaplex is under fire, with the sensitivity of someone's scalp and hair loss? No lawsuits for me. No, thank you. You can keep that. If I were to launch some hair products, they would have to be under trial on multiple hair types for minimum a full year of testing, honestly. If I made my own hair products, it would, this is why I'm not doing it, because they would have to be the best products of all time. They would have to detangle like you'd have to be able to spray it and like the, the tangles fall out. Like that's how fast you have to detangle if they were my product. The slip would have to be insane. The smells would have to be 
like a rose garden uh, or pineapple and I the gel would have to be the greatest hold of all time you should be able to go out in the rain and your hair still looks good like waterproof but without any buildup they would have to be the greatest products of all time because of how picky I am with things and my ingredients would have to be great they'd have to be vegan they'd have to be cruelty free I'd have to have some fragrance free for my people I gotta have some coconut oil free ones it would be such a thing and it sounded like he really wanted me to just slap my name on some products I definitely could do that and I feel confident that you guys would buy it because of the trust that we've built with each other and you know I talked to you guys online like we have like a really like an online relationship so I know you'd buy them because many of you have told me that and I feel like you would support my brand but at the moment where I need your trust the most and I need your like participation in my brand that's not where I'm gonna drop the ball I'm not just gonna steal eco stylers gel and put Bianca's gel on it and now you're like love it because it's similar to eco style I'm just like that does not make me excited at all and he kind of had this whole influencer lineup of people I can't even name names but like tiktokers I had like a, a viral video and like now they're making makeup and they don't even do makeup like it was just getting weird and I was like yeah 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 um you know how would this work he offered me a whopping 30 percent ownership <laughs> I was like look I've watched enough Shark Tank to know that that's not a good deal so are there some celebrities that are probably getting a similar pitch maybe from a really big brand that makes other brands and like oh you should make yours but it'll have your name on it and we already know how to make it we could drop it in a month we'll get some photos ready we'll do a dope photo shoot we'll do a commercial and they might go for it because it's it's easy like all the work has already been done we just need you and your face and your name and you post it on your social media and get your followers to buy it easy money yes but if you are someone in the space, even like a makeup by Mario, I don't think an uh, actual credible makeup artist would drop something like willy nilly. Like he's not just going to go to downtown Santi Alley and buy some bootleg, you know, <laughs> foundation and put his name on. I feel like there probably was some thought to it. Let's actually look at it. It feels really good. I haven't really been paying attention to my face this been talking. The coverage is actually really nice. I think the match is good. Is this? Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I should know this because I'm like a reality girl now. I need a man. Hmm. Pretty nice. So then I asked you what celebrities are doing it right. And a lot of you said Rihanna. You guys are not mad at Fenty. You're not mad at Selena Gomez with Rare Beauty. You're not mad at Tracy Ellis Ross with Pattern. She's probably like one of the few celebrities that made it out <laughs> alive <laughs> of the very picky hair game. And you're not mad at like the Jessica Albas with Honest. Um, and I think that's because like there, you need to be able to fill a need. So she really wanted to make clean baby products. It was a need. Oh, I've also realized I have not been giving you guys new challenges. I'm like two weeks behind by the time you see this video. This week's challenge, looking at this disgusting beauty blender, is the clean your makeup brushes challenge guys I I am so guilty look at this look at this crusty crust oh lord have mercy yes I know there's bacteria probably growing yes I know it's bad for my skin I know I know I know all the things you don't have to yell at me we're gonna fix it this week this week we are all cleaning our makeup brushes and our beauty blenders that we have been neglecting it's time. Let me know if you accept the makeup brush challenge. Let me just do a quick little rinsey do and then I'll come back and do a deep clean of this later. So then I asked, are you more influenced by celebrities or influencers? The results are in. 93% said that you are more likely to be persuaded by an influencer than a celebrity. Wow, it's almost like brands should like really take us seriously. Then I said, fill in the blank. I have purchased more things due to YouTube, IG, and TikTok or a commercial on TV. 98% of you said that you are more likely to purchase something because of a social media platform versus the 2% that said a commercial on TV. Guys, did any of you 
buy anything from the Super Bowl commercials? Like, when you watch the Super Bowl, did you like, wow, that commercial was great. I wanna go buy some kibbles and bits. Like, no. But how many of you have purchased something from Amazon at two in the morning from five things you didn't know you needed from Amazon? Six Amazon must-haves. Come on now. And do you know the millions of dollars that are being spent to make the commercial for the Super Bowl, let alone air it for a 30 second spot? Millions of dollars. I will take millions of dollars. I will gladly promote your product on YouTube, but no one has offered me a million dollars. It's crazy when the numbers say that people trust influencers even more than celebrities and commercials. There might need to be a pivot in where the money's going. Where the money resides, where the money resides. Let's get some more responses, maybe a different perspective. So someone said, I see nothing wrong with celebrity brands. I feel like people get turned off only because they're celebrities. I see this side too. Maybe you are prejudging it because it's a celebrity brand. What if that celebrity actually put some time into it and you aren't even gonna give them a chance. So I think where I stand is I'm, I'm not mad at people trying to make money. Why not? I mean, I think if you could, you would as well. But at the same time, you want the product to work. So I'm always gonna try something. As you guys know, all my reviews are honest. So if I don't like it, I don't like it. But I wanna make my own opinion on it first and I do watch reviews just like you guys do so sometimes I might like kick back a little bit see what the people are saying and then I'll try it for myself and at the end of the day only my opinion matters when it comes to what I'm putting on me and when you buy products it doesn't matter if I don't like it if you like it that's all that matters okay I'm going to set this with my Le Mercier and then we're going to switch to the hair because I was supposed to do that first Okay, switching the hair, let's think about some more brands and like what makes that celebrity brand make sense. So, Alicia Keys, she came out with Keys, her own skincare line. Now, if you know or follow Alicia Keys, you know that she is someone who struggled with acne and she was very like vocal about that. She was like the spokesperson for Proactive at one point. <sighs> as somebody with acne prone skin who has dealt with severe acne. If you've ever had acne, there's a 90% chance that you have tried proactive and there's a 90% chance that it stopped working for you after, I don't know, a month or two and it just didn't have the long lasting results as we wanted. But now that she made her own products, I would wanna say that since you're someone that has dealt with acne, you would not risk putting something out that would be bad for your skin or that wouldn't actually work. So I thought it was smart for Alicia Keys to do skincare versus like hair because that's something that we know that feels more authentic to her. Now, do we want any more celebrity brands? Uh, majority of you said no. Majority of you said that you are over it and enough is enough. But then I did see one comment somewhere under a video that said if anyone's gonna be making hair products, it needs to be somebody that actually wears their natural hair out. Someone maybe like Viola Davis. I respect that she has continued to wear her hair out and natural at red carpet events. That's usually the, the number one time where somebody will easily slap on a wig, straighten their hair, wear a weed because it's a special occasion and natural hair isn't good enough for special occasions. And I love every time she wears her hair natural, which is majority of the time. Now she made some products made specifically for tighter coily hair, like type four hair. I think that would actually do very well because she wears her hair like that. I feel like people would just be happy with a product even made just for type four hair. I know brands love to say, oh, for all hair types, but I don't think it has to be for all hair types. I think your brand should make multiple products so that you have something for different hair types and textures, but I don't think every product even needs to have the word made for all hair types. But that makes me almost like not trust you because it's just not realistic that one magical product is gonna work on someone with wavy hair and my hair and a tighter coil hair. No, I don't think we really like expect that. So I do have some pattern on my hair from yesterday. I used the cream and the gel. 
Um, but I'm going to refresh with something different. Hopefully they get along. Let's try the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. What is a gel to foam styler? Oh, okay. It looks like gel on the inside, but when you pump it, it turns to foam. It's very fresh, clean, green smell. Like it smells like the aloe, but not in like, hmm but in a more happy perfume way. Oh, oh, slippery consistency. Huh, oh, okay, it has some good slip to it. That must be that aloe. Interesting. I kind of like how it, it stays a foam, but doesn't like disappear and turn into a liquid. It almost turns into a little bit of a very, very light gel. But yeah, this seems to be the main thing, this comment right here. Kind of over the hair care products from folks who have never had their natural hair out. That part. It's like, come on, guys. Who are we really trying to play? Oh, that even reminds me of Gabrielle Union. When she first had her products, I was like one of the first to get it. That was my first time getting a PR box from... A celebrity, I remember I got an email that said, Gabrielle Union wants to work with you. And I was like, oh. And then I realized it was probably not actually Gabrielle Union. It was like her marketing team and she had new products. And then her very first line, she did kind of like stop and start over. Full of, I think, at least silicone, maybe sulfate. But I was just like, dang it. And that was the first time that I had to check my, uh, my morals <laughs> and check my integrity. Once I was going the no sulfate silicone route and then I was got this offer from Gabrielle Union to review her products and I was like getting attention from a brand and I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to say no. Even if they offer me some money, even though I could be besties with Gabrielle Union, I'm gonna have to say no. And that's what I did. And I have yet to hear anyone talk about those products. <sighs> That was that. It feels really light. It might be good for a refresh. Don't know how this would do on day one here, as you see. Anytime I wanna keep adding more, it's because I'm nervous. I'm nervous about the hold. I could see this drying lightly, but maybe it'll be, still be defined and give you that defined but not crunchy look that so many of you desire. Now let me finish the rest of my face, diffuse, and give you my final thoughts. And I'm back. Oh, the power of hair and makeup. Now let's try some lip colors. So I went out and got the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Um, I was influenced by my own influencer friend on TikTok. Shout out to Alyssa Marie. <laughs> they all looked amazing on her. I was gonna buy all of them and do like a whole swatching for you, but these. These were basically $30 each. So I said, you know what? Two's fine. $60 in lip colors that I absolutely don't need. So I got Riri, which is like a mauve. And then I got MVP, which is a red. I think I want to wear the mauve today, but let's just do a little try on while we're here. And let's, let's talk about Fenty while we're at it. So, oh, look at this. Look how it like fills up. That's good. Now I did wear one of these the other day and I wouldn't say it's like a forever lasting like stick to your lip situation if you were eating and drinking, but when you put it on, oh, look at that. It's so soft, so creamy. It's like mousse. Back to what we're talking about, I'm sure that when Rihanna said, hey, I want to make my own makeup line or I want to make my own lingerie. I'm sure people laughed at her. I'm sure she had to convince her team. I'm sure that they were like, you do music, like stay in your lane. There had to have been some negative people around her. That's just life. But look at her now. She's a billionaire without having to put out any new music. We've gotten what? One song from the Black Panther soundtrack in the last, I don't even know how many years. And that wouldn't have happened if she didn't try and put herself out there and try something new. It's always scary to try something new. And if you really put effort into it, I think it shows. I think we know that Fenty wasn't just like, eh, 
let's just do it to do it. There's, there's levels and her products are really good from makeup to skincare to lingerie to clothes. It's a lot. That is a pretty red. Apparently, this is the red that she was wearing during the Super Bowl. <laughs> no big deal. But I do wanna switch colors now. And here is the color Riri. I love this kind of like mauve pink. This is like my go-to every day. It feels amazing. These aren't made to like last forever. So if you like eat or drink or kiss somebody, it will transfer. That's not like one of their claims, but it's extremely comfortable and soft, like not drying at all. So if you want a comfortable wear more than a long time, if you're here for a good time than a long time, you might want to get one of these liquid lipsticks. And then the overall concluding thoughts on celebrity brands is that most people are over them, meaning they're not excited about them. And I think that people have also have such trust issues when it comes to products nowadays because of people that review products and social media and everybody like reviews things on TikTok, whether you have a following or not. There's just so much honesty on the internet when people wanna say how they feel about a product that you can't really fool anyone anymore. So I don't think people are gonna be just buying products because a celebrity uses it unless they like love that celebrity. But a lot of us still want to see the review. We want the receipts. We want to know if it works to see if it's worth our money. In my personal opinion, I'm not mad at anybody that wants to do more and create more. Anyone that wants to fill a need, anyone that wants to reach a market that hasn't really been given any attention, whether it's a wider range of shades in makeup, whether it's products for a certain hair type. The more the merrier when it comes to things that work. But at the end of the day, you don't know if you're gonna like the product until you try it or until you watch a review from someone you trust. If you enjoyed this little curl talk, get ready with me, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday and you also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. Join the conversation down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee today. Oh, 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 oh,